Hey guys, so I'm finally back with a new video and this is going to be my top 10 tips and tricks and like, you know, just like the top 10 things that really helped my hair and like, I wish I would have known this when I first started doing my curly hair because I had no idea what I was doing, but yeah, let me stop rambling. These are my top 10 tips, tricks, hints, you know, whatever you want to call them. <laughs> Let's get into this. So my first tip is to use 100% cotton t-shirt or a microfiber towel when washing your hair. Like, I use 100% cotton t-shirt or you could use a microfiber towel, which is, it looks like this, and you wrap it around your head. Um, I never, ever, ever, ever use a towel to dry my hair because it just takes all the moisture away and it, you know, you don't want to wash your hair, spend all that time putting conditioner and, you know, making sure that your hair is deep conditioned and moisturized for the towels to come in and suck it all the way. You don't want to do that. So, that's why you got to use one of those. And I'm pretty sure everybody has 100% cotton t-shirt. I got one of those from, like, my old gym school clothes. So, you know, of course I wash it though, so don't think I'm nasty. <laughs> Number two is also going along with the whole shower business, like washing your hair. So number two would be to use a sulfate-free shampoo, and I'm sure most of you have heard about this already, but if you haven't, then um, using sulfate-free shampoos or even conditioners, just any products that you use in your hair, make sure that it's natural. Um, it's always better anyways to use like natural products, so what I remember that is like products that use natural like um, ingredients, they use natural ingredients, so you know, your hair can be all nice and you know, the natural goddess. <laughs> Number three relates to how I sleep in my hair. So when I sleep in my hair, I'll either put it in a pineapple, so you already know, use this. Everybody's seen the pineapple you put at the top of your head, and that's how you sleep with it. And that works too, but sometimes the elastic can leave a dent in my hair. So what I'll use is a bandana to sleep with, you know, like that, and then I'll flip my hair over. And then, Do a little sun like this, so see how my hair is like in the bandana, and then I'll tie it, and I'll go to sleep like this. It's not perfect, it's just so you can see what I'm talking about, but um, yeah, this is like pineapple but with the bandana, so you don't get that dent in your hair, and I'll just sleep with this on. Number four is another shower related tip so number four is is to rinse out your conditioner with your hair flipped over so like whenever i rinse out my conditioner i rinse it out like this so i let the shower run through my hair and i rinse out my conditioner like that um i do this because i feel like it just makes my hair have more it leaves my hair with more moisture like it adds volume and then it just moisturizes your hair more because i guess it's not directly hitting your scalp when i start from the back when I flip it over, the, um, more moisture can be sealed into the front. I hope I explained that correctly, but try it out and you'll see for yourself. <laughs> Number five is to scrunch your hair. Now, I don't mean scrunch your hair as in like always scrunch your hair, but just when you're when you're rinsing out your water, scrunch your hair. When you're applying products, scrunch in the product once you rake it in. Don't excessively scrunch it, but scrunch it just enough, you know? Because scrunching your hair just makes it, like, whenever I apply products, I rake it through so it makes my curls flatten out. But once you scrunch it, it just bounces your curls up again. So scrunching for me is very important because if I wouldn't scrunch my hair, my hair would just, it wouldn't be as defined at all. So, number six. So I got some questions asked when I recorded my video with the bathing suits that I got sent. And a lot of people ask me if I just wear my hair out to the beach, and yes, I do. So this is how you combat curly hair versus beach. So whenever I go to the beach, I always bring conditioner with me. And if I get into the water, I'll make sure to put conditioner in my hair once I get out. If I know I'm not getting into the water anymore. So it just really hydrates my hair because that salt water can really you know dry up our curls you know what i'm talking about and it can really make it all tangly and nasty so this way put conditioner in your hair 
it'll be soft and then once you get home or in the morning you can wash your hair and it won't be as tangled because you put the conditioner in okay number seven this is something that i had to learn the hard way number seven is do not touch your hair when you're drying your hair this is like like this is really bad to do when you can't touch your hair when it's drying because i used to always play around with it you know twirl around like move it without me even noticing it and that will cause so much frizz like I love frizz, don't get me wrong, but I don't like excessive frizz where it's to the point like you see more frizz than curls. That's what it used to be like and that's just because I would always touch my hair when it's drying. Number eight is to sleep on a satin pillowcase. So um, I ordered my satin pillowcase from Amazon and this is just, it, le it helps prevent breakage because sleeping on a regular cotton or some type of different pillowcase can like you know when you're sleeping your hair is still rubbing up on the pillowcase and it could create breakage frizz etc but satin is nice and it's like slip so rinse it number nine this is another important one for your hair to not get messed up when you comb your hair when you're detangling it or if you're restyling anything that you want to do to your hair comb gently Please. when you're breaking like I see people and they're just combing their knots out and that will really break your hair you need to like comb gently and comb from, start from the bottom and work your way up because that's the easiest and less damaging way to do it so number 10 this is my last and final tip um, I use a little like one of these spritz bottles and you can find these in Walgreens, CVS, Dollar Store probably even has these. I use one of these little bottles and one of these little spray bottles. And I got these, I don't even remember, but I think you could get these in CVS, Walgreens, Dollar Tree, any place that has like these express bottles. Or you can reuse an old one. And I'll put water and conditioner or you could put leave-in conditioner. Um, I'll put more conditioner than the water. Or you could use leave-in conditioner, any type of conditioning, leave-in conditioner that you know really hydrates your hair. And I'll just bring this with me on the go. I'll use this to refresh my curls in the morning. So that's my tip for refreshing curls. You just spray it on, twirl your finger around it, you know. Simple. <laughs> so yeah, thank you guys for watching. Those were my top 10 hacks, tips, tricks for curly hair. Um, if you have any more, please comment them down below. I would love to get to know some more and I would love for you guys to help each other with, you know, curly hair because we're all in this together. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, follow me on my Instagram. I also have a Twitter. I don't use it very much, but I would like to start using it. So start following me and I'll start tweeting even more. And I also have a Snapchat. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye. <laughs>